There's some people I want to do this, this short post right here. And I want to ask y'all a, a very important and significant question. How do you communicate with God? Do, do you do it with your mind, your heart, or your spirit? Now, the spirit is in the heart. It's not in the mind. It's in the heart. And so in order to communicate with God, you must do it spiritually. Those of us who really work in the spiritual realm, you don't communicate audibly with your voice, with your mouth, with your throat. No, that's not the way you do it. You speak from the heart, from the soul. This is how you communicate with the spirit and the, the lords, the angels, and with God. Not spoken word, my beloved, from the heart. Now, why am I bringing this forth? Because there are many teachers out here. Many teachers, all of them coming from this angle and that angle. But I'm speaking specifically of those who come from Kimmy because I represent Kimmy. Beloved. They have book knowledge. Some of them have tremendous book knowledge. Men such as M. from DC, uh, 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 Professor James Small, tremendous knowledge. And I'm sure Dr. Ben and some of us on book knowledge. Did you hear me? No spiritual knowledge, book knowledge, only, only what their mind could grasp. You can't communicate with God using your carnal mind. Nor can you understand your King James Bible in a mental aspect. No, my brother. It must be spiritually discerned. Spirit to spirit, natural to natural. Therefore, I have charged you, first of all, to go within. Access the spiritual realm. Then the communication will come. You must silence your mind, silence your being, silence your thoughts, and allow the source to speak. Everything is intuited, my beloved. Heart to heart, soul to soul. Now, if the vessel doesn't have any oil in it, you shouldn't be listening to it. You hear me? I said, if the vessel doesn't have any soul in it, any spirit in it, you shouldn't be listening to it. It's book knowledge. It's not spirit. We're trying to access the spiritual realms, and it must be done spiritually, not carnally. 